Okay, today we're going to be looking at trigonomic identities. So what does that mean? So if we think about x plus x equals 2x, this is an identity. Because it's something that's true for all values of x. Now when we say something's equal to some, we, we, we say x plus x is equal to 2x. But when we have an identity, we replace the equal sign with um, uh, an equivalent sign, it's called. And what this does is it just it underlines the fact that this the identity is true. So the two most common trigonomic identities that we have are sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1 and tan that's tan x is equivalent to sine x over cosine x. Um, and we can use these to um, play around with lots of other um, trigonomic um, expressions and um, rearrange them to create some interesting identities. So let's do some of those now. First of all, let us consider um, 4 cosine squared x minus 3 sine squared x and we want to express it in terms of x. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll rewrite it here, oh, it's in, in terms of, sorry, cosine x squared x. Um, so what we're going to do is we're, we want to get rid of the sine squared. So we're going to use um, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1 to replace the sine squared x. So cosine squared x minus 3 and now we're going to, instead of having sine squared, we're going to have 1 minus cosine squared x and that's going to give us 4 now expand the brackets minus 3 and that's going to be minus plus 3 cosine squared x and then we're going to gather our terms so 4 add 3 is 7 so that'll give us 7 cosine squared x minus 3 that's um, and that's that one. So let's look at another one. Now we are going to prove the identity. It's not wrong. One plus sine x over cosine x plus cosine x over one plus sine x is equivalent to 2 plus cosine x. Now what we do is we um, tackle the most complicated side first. So in that case it's going to be the left hand side. So we're going to use the abbreviation L HS left hand side um, left hand side is equivalent to 1 plus sine x over cosine x plus cosine x 1 plus sine x so we're going to add um, the two fact fractions So that's going to give us um, 
1 plus sine x on plus sine x so it's going to be 1 plus sine x squared and that's going to be plus cosine squared x all over um, cosine x um, oops, 1 plus sine x. Now we're going to expand the brackets up here. So now we're going to expand um, the numerator. We'll leave the denominator just for now. So that's going to give us, um, I'll do it over here, this bracket here, just as a wee side note, just so we keep ourselves right. Um, it's often useful with these sorts of questions where you've got lots of different things happening. If you want to expand some brackets, um, to just do it on a, a separately um, as a wee note, and that way you can keep track of everything. So that's going to be in 2x. 2 sine x plus sine squared x. So let's put that back in. 1 plus 2 sine x plus sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over um, cosine x 1 plus sine x. Now we can see here that this is going to be um, 1. So here we have 1, so that's going to be 1, but we've got 1 here, so it's going to be 2 plus 2 sine x over cosine x 1 plus sine x. Um, now we're going to simplify the top. So we're going to take the factor of 2 out. 1 plus sine x. Now by taking out the factor of 2, we've got the same as we've got down here. So that's going to be equivalent to 2 over cosine x, which is what we have on the right hand side. <coughs> now we want to prove the identity 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x is equivalent to tan plus 1 over cosine x squared. Now, on this one, the right-hand side is more complicated. So, tan x oops, plus 1 over cosine x squared. Now, we want to get rid of that tan because this side has got sines and that's a cosine. So if we use tan x is sine x over cosine x, we have sine x over cosine x plus 1 over cosine x squared. Now we're going to add the fractions. So it's going to be sine x cosine x plus cosine x over cosine squared. And then we'll be able to take the cosine out. So it's going to be sine x plus 1 
over cosine x squared. Um, I'm going to start working it up here. So now we're going to put 1 add sine x squared over cosine squared x. Now we know that um, cosine squared x is the same as 1 minus sine squared x, so we're going to replace that. One minus sine squared x. Now, if we um, what do we need? We need one plus sine x. So, what what we're going to do is we're going to um, divide the numerator oh, numerator and denominator by 1 plus sine x so That's going to give us one plus sine x over one minus sine squared. Oops, sine x. Oh, I've missed out a speed a stage. So So what we see is let's look at the bottom let's look at the um, denominator. 1 minus sine squared x. Now we can factorise this by having 1 plus sine x 1 minus sine x. So let's do that. Um, 1 plus x, 1 minus sine x, and so we can cancel the 1 plus sine x on the numerator and denominator, so we have 1 plus sine x on the top, and 1 minus sine x on the bottom, which is the same as the left hand side. Now we're going to do one that's a bit more tricky. Um, so we want to prove the identity 1 minus tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta that is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So we're going to, and then we're going to, um, Hence, solve the equation 1 minus tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta is <coughs> equal to 5 cosine theta minus 3. And we want to solve it for 
0 degrees less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 360. Um, so we've got two points of parts of this question. There's um, a few things I want to just draw your attention to first. So this is your first part that you could approve this identity. This word hence shows you that there's something in the first half of the question that you'll be using in this half of the equation question. And I'd also draw your attention to um, the range, which is important when solving um, trigonomic equations. So let's look at this bit first. So we're going to look at the left hand side because that's the tricky bit. So the left hand side, 1 minus tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta. Because the right hand side has cosines in it, we are going to use um, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So that will give us 1 minus sine theta over cosine theta squared over 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta squared. Now we are going to um, expand this um, these, these um, factors out, so we'll end up with cosine theta minus or square, they'll be squared, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta over cosine theta squared and that's all over um, cosine squared theta um, plus sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. That's just um, adding or subtracting the, the fractions. Now here you can see the cosine theta squared thetas are going to cancel. So I'll write this up here. Um, so that will give us cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta all over um, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta which gives us <coughs> now cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1 so we're just going to end up with cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta now we know that sine squared theta we can use our other identity and replace that with 1 minus sine, oh not sine, cosine squared theta. Expanding that bracket out you'll get um, 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 because put the minus 1 in that minus times a minus gives a positive, so that's two, two, cos, two cosine squared thetas. Um, and that's what we have on our right hand side. Um, now, we want to use, try and fit it in here, we want to show that, um, solve this equation. So, we know that 1 minus tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 from the first part of our question. So that must, um, we can use that for solving this equation. So we can make 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 equal to 5 cosine theta minus 3. And so we can take this and solve it like we would a quadratic equation. So we'll have 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 minus 5 cosine theta plus 3 equal to 0. Um, so that's going to be 2 cosine squared theta minus 5 cosine theta and that will be plus 2 equals 0 
So we'll factorise this. Um, cosine theta. So we will have on this side, we will have that's plus 2. So this will be um, minus 2 minus 1. And so cosine theta will be equal to a half or cosine theta will be equal to 2. Now this has no solution. But this has theta equal to 60 degrees. But remember our range is between 0 and 360. So we'd also have equal to 360 minus 60 is equal to 300. So our solution is equal 60 degrees or 300 degrees. So I hope that helps.